Good morning all of you. I hope all of you are doing fine. Today we are going to start a new chapter from your history portion. In the previous chapter, the British rule, we discussed how the British East India Company was able to consolidate its power over India after the Battle of Buxar. We also discussed the various schemes, the various techniques, the various tactics adopted by the British East India Company in order to consolidate its power over India. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the various colonial schemes and policies adopted by the British East India Company in order to exert it in order to exert more influence over India. And how these schemes and how these uh, policies adversely affected the life of the people living in the rural areas. So before understanding the various policies and how it affected the uh, people living in the rural areas, let us discuss what was the life in the rural areas before and after the advent of the British East India Company. Before the British uh, became very powerful in India, the Indian villages were self-sufficient units. All the things that were needed by the by, that were needed by the villagers were cultivated and produced in the village itself. Everybody in the village was self-sufficient. They had everything that they needed to live a life. But after the coming of the British East India Company, the villages became mere suppliers of raw materials. That is, the British East India Company allowed the villagers to cultivate only those crops which were economically viable, which were economically profitable. So, the villages were self-sufficient units before the advent of the British East India Company. They pro the villagers produced whatever they needed in the village itself. But after the coming of the British East India Company, the villagers, the people in the rural areas were completely dependent on the British East India Company for goods required in their daily life, ranging from food crops to whatever it was, uh, to, no, whatever it was, whatever was required for them to live a good life. The farmers had to give a small amount of their produce to the king as tax. So before the advent of the British, the farmers had to give a small portion of whatever they cultivated to the king as tax. They did not have to give any extra money or they did not have to pay any extra cash to the king. They paid they paid tax and how did they pay tax? They gave, Whatever they produced, a small portion, a little portion of their produce was given to the king. But this was, this was not so after the coming of the British. After the British uh, established, is, established its control over India, the people were forced to pay high revenues, high taxes that too in cash. And if uh, the uh, farmers were unable to pay the revenue, then their land was confiscated all right and then in, uh, before the coming of the British East India Company in case of any natural calamities like flood or drought uh, the uh, king completely wrote off the tax that is the king completely pardoned the tax so when there was if there was any natural calamity like flood and drought the farmer did not have to pay the tax before the coming of the British all right, but it was not so after the coming of the British. After the British became very powerful in India, the farmer had to pay tax uh, even if their crops failed. There was no concession. There was no uh, concession even when there were when when the crops were uh, you know the crops failed. Am I clear to you all? So, we can just say that before the coming of the British East India Company, the Indian farmers were happy. They were happy farmers. See, you can see in the picture, they were happy farmers. After the coming of the British East India Company, the Indian farmers, they became, say, they became, they became sad farmers. Why? Because now they didn't have... Uh, control over their fields they did they, they did not have control over the land they did not they could not cultivate whatever they required or whatever they wanted to yes and they also had to pay a high amount of revenue as tax am i clear to all of you yes please go through the uh, please go through the information given in the picture i hope it will be clear if you read it once 
थैंक यू